asking for help from anyone who may have video of baseball games at the, where the Sellis family attended. Now, Isabel was last seen in public exactly one week ago at Freedom Park on 29th between Craycroft and Swan. Not on your side's Jessica Chapin has more on that role in this investigation. Well, Jennifer, the atmosphere at the park has definitely changed a bit since last Friday. According to police, there are no security cameras in that area. So to find out more details on what happened the night Isabel disappeared, they're asking for help. And meanwhile, parents at the park are taking extra precautions. It's the last place Isabel Sellis was seen in public, Freedom Park just a few miles from her home, watching her brother's baseball game. Isabel was playing by our dugout, you know. Uh, our game was over. Um, we left the park close to 10 o'clock. Everybody left about the same time. Isabel had a game the following morning, you know, so I know they probably went and put her right to bed. But the next morning, she was gone, and police continue to explore all possibilities. We don't know if somebody followed them home from the park Friday night. Um, we don't know if it's somebody they know. And that idea has parents paying close attention to their children in this area. I have a son that plays in this league and it's kind of scary. Are you taking any precautions now, thinking twice about things uh, with regard to your children? Oh, definitely. I mean, I've already, I'm already a very protective parent, but I mean, uh, you know, we had an alarm system installed on our house and one particularly installed on my son's window. Police are still searching and still questioning and asking anyone who may have any evidence to help. The important thing to note is that many parents go to these uh, events and they take their own cameras, they take their own video cameras. If they did, uh, we're asking them to uh, make that known to us so we could evaluate that video. And police say they will be looking at the videos for people who may have talked to Isabel and taking a look at the family's interaction. Again, anyone who took video that may have Isabel in it anywhere is encouraged to come forward. Jessica, any surveillance video from maybe homes or businesses near the park? Well, we asked police that same question. As far as that's concerned, police are more interested in any video from inside the park. All right, well, hopefully uh, they get something to go on there. Thanks so much, Jessica. Now, Isabel's case is 